Hello and what's up folks this is Waves from Slider in this video I'm gonna talk about how to calculate distance formula in Java you probably heard this thing distance formula it was in your math somewhere I'm no good at maths be honest with you but I'll see what we can do with that programming so first I'm gonna tell you how this works so what you need is the input x1 y1 x2 y2 to calculate the distance between the two points then you have the formula itself which is the root of x2 minus x1 square and that expression which you see over there so now third you just need to display the distance now as you can see the formula is pretty complicated in this case I mean if you guys are beginners you probably don't know how to write this in Java so to keep things simple I will assume the values of x1 y1 and x2 y2 alright so now let me get started let's kick this program's ass you go to NetBeans I'll say new project but for new project let me show you a shortcut you can press ctrl shift and n and that comes a new project application click next alright call this distance oops alright so now click finish and we are ready to rock and roll remove this and now let's assume the values of x1 and y1 and x1 probably like 1 y1 is 1 x2 is 5 y2 is 5 to keep things simple let's take simple values and now the distance formula which is gonna be x2 minus x1 square y2 minus y1 square so for that we need to calculate x2 minus x1 now this can be squared in many ways. I'll start with the simplest one and I'll show you how this works. X2 minus X1 into X2 minus X1 is X2 minus X1 square, right? Now I see Y2 minus Y1 Y2 minus Y1 At this point, I have X2 minus X1 the whole square plus Y2 minus Y1 the whole square. Now we need to take the root of this, right? Taking the, for taking the root there is a function called sqrt put the whole thing inside sqrt you will take the root of the entire thing but the question is where is this sqrt it's inside a class called math you say math.sqrt and now we need to store this value inside a double we say double distance equals to this do you know why it's double because you're taking the root you're probably gonna get something like 2.5678 whatever so put that in double so now we need to display this distance We'll say system dot out dot println. We'll say distance. Press Control and S to save. Shift and F6 to run. As you see, it says 5.65 something. This is the distance, all right. So now, as you see, there is another way to write this expression. This was probably the simplest way to write this stuff. Now we can make it more efficient by using some of the Java functions. Now let me show you how that's done. So let me separate this out so that we walk over here. So now as you see, we had your x2 minus x1, right? And we wanted a square of this. To take a square, we have a function called POV, sorry, W. And we need to tell it exactly what is the power. So in this case, we are saying x2 minus x1 square math dot power this is a number that we want to square and this is the power so if I take a simple number like say math dot power 3 comma 2 and I print this out say shift f6 as you can see it's calculating 3 square which is 9 so the same way I need x2 minus x1 square so also x2 minus x1 alright and now this needs to be added with math dot power of y2 minus y1 square alright so at this point I have x2 minus x1 square plus y2 minus y1 square I need to take a square root of all of this so I'll put the entire thing in bracket right call the sqrt function 
SQRT is inside math. I'll say math.sqrt. And I'll store the same thing in distance. Alright, now let's me let's say control S for saving shift F6. We didn't print the print the thing. Oops, sorry about that. Distance. So say control S, shift F6. As you can see it prints the same thing. So this is a better this is another way of writing this stuff down. So I hope you guys got something out of this video. I'll be making more vids on my channel on programs. Please subscribe to my channel, comment, let me know what you think about this. See you guys later. Have a nice day.